Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Alexei Navalny. Anti-Corruption Foundation Founder. Alexei Navalny is a Russian politician who was born in 1976 and later studied law and finance. He became well known as an anti-corruption activist and blogger, and he is now a leading figure in the United Russia Party's opposition to Vladimir Putin. Navalny survived a poisoning attempt on his life in the summer of 2020, despite being jailed multiple times. In March 2022, he was sentenced to nine years in prison after being arrested upon his return to Russia. Early Years He was born to Anatoly Ivanovich Navalny and Lyudmila Ivanovna Navalny in Butin, Russia, on June 4, 1976. He grew up in military settlements around Moscow and spent summers with his grandmother in the countryside near Chernobyl, Ukraine, as the son of an army communications officer. People's Friendship University of Russia awarded Navalny a law degree in 1998 which he followed with a master's degree from the State Finance Academy in 2001. After graduating from high school in 2007, he was accepted to study for a semester at Yale University in 2010. Career in Politics Navalny became a member of Yabloko, the Russian United Democratic Party, around the time he began practicing law in the late 1990s. Russia's Communist Party ousted him in 2007 for his nationalist sentiments after he served as deputy chairman of its Moscow section. As a follow-up, Navalny established the Russian National Liberation Movement, which advocated for a tougher stance against illegal immigration. When the Russian-Georgian War broke out in 2008, he called for the deportation of Georgians and made a pro-gun rights film in which he shot an assailant dressed in a typical Middle Eastern cafe. Governor Nikita Black of Kiral Fablast hired Navalny as an advisor in 2009. Blogger and anti-corruption campaigner Navalny began using his live journal blog, which had a large following to expose corrupt state business practices. When Transneft was building a huge pipeline, he published a paper alleging that $4 billion had been stolen from the oil transport monopoly. In the following weeks, Navalny developed the website Rozpil.net, which encouraged individuals to submit publicly available government contracts for proof of wrongdoing. To investigate the misappropriation of public funds, Navalny established the Anti-Corruption Foundation FBK, the next year. The findings of these probes were made public in YouTube videos that frequently embarrassed United Russia officials. More than 40 million people watched a 2017 film about Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev's enormous wealth. The FBK was liquidated in June 2021 after being declared designated extremist group by the government. Opposition Leader and Detainment When Navalny was imprisoned in December 2011 for leading protests against the Russian elections, he became a global figure. While appealing to a younger demographic, his description of United Russia as the party of crooks and thieves drew criticism. Accused of embezzling $500,000 from a state-owned lumber company, Navalny was indicted in 2013. A year after being released on bond, he ran for mayor of Moscow in an unsuccessful bid before being detained once more in the fall for allegedly scamming two more Russian enterprises with his brother Oleg. His brother ended up in prison, while Navalny was spared. In 2016, Navalny announced his intention to run for president after Russia's Supreme Court overturned his original criminal conviction. When he was taken back to court for a second retrial of the 2013 charges, his campaign was severely damaged. When Navalny was arrested and briefly imprisoned again in July 2019, he replied by developing the smart voting website to boost awareness of opposition leaders most suited to defeat United Russia candidates at the vote box. Attempted attack and jail time. In August of 2020, Navalny became critically ill while flying to Moscow, necessitating an emergency landing in Omsk. Medical treatment in Berlin, Germany, where it was found he had been poisoned by a Russian-developed Novichok nerve agent, was eventually allowed for him. Navalny teamed up with news organizations and the London-based investigative group Bellingcat when he was discharged from the hospital a month later to locate his would-be killers from Russia's Federal Security Service, FSB. In fact, he was able to con a security guard into revealing that the nerve agent had been applied to the target's underpants by calling him on the phone. When Navalny returned to Moscow in January 2021, he was promptly detained for breaking the terms of his probation. In March 2022, following a hunger strike, he was found guilty of embezzling funds from his anti-corruption foundation and sentenced to nine years in a maximum security jail. Accolades and Honors In early 2021, Navalny received a nomination for the Nobel Peace Prize. His year ended with the Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought, presented by the European Parliament. Activist Navalny was the subject of a 2022 documentary on his recovery from the poisoning in Germany and his return to Russia, where he would be imprisoned. Family 
Navalny married Yulia Abrasimova, a fellow student he met on a trip to Turkey in the late 1990s. She is now known as Yulia Navalna and has carved out a niche for herself as a staunch ally of her husband's anti-corruption crusade. Darya and Zikar are the couple's two children. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video. Thank <laughs> you.